In this lesson, we will learn how to update our project. Before updating our project, I have selected four different columns from the columns option. The baseline project start, start, baseline project finish and finish. Now, since my project was supposed to start on 14th of May and its baseline finish was 25th of August, let's say now it's 20th of May and we have updated our project based on the actual work done. There are two different ways to update our project. One is to update manually or another is to update automatically using the update progress option. The update progress option can be found under the tools menu. If we click tools menu and select option here, we can see the update progress options here. However, this update progress option should only be used if our project is going exactly according to our baseline. But if the actual progress of a project is not going according to the baseline dates, then we should not use this option. Let's suppose I select my activity civil drawings preparation and I go to the tools option and click update progress. It opens me an update progress window with different options. It tells me which activities I want to update. I have selected only highlighted activities to be updated and then I will change the data date. Data date is actually the date on which we make change to the project or add progress to the project. Since my start date was 14th May, let's say now it's 18th of May and I want to add progress to my project. Once I select this thing, it will highlight my activity in yellow, which means that these two activities should have progressed up to 18th of May. And I will click apply. It says pro project has been updated successfully. So if you actually see what it does is that it assigns the exact same start date to the project as per our baseline. This activity civil drawings preparation was supposed to start on 14th of May. It has assigned this activity a progress percentage of 25% based on the duration elapsed. Since this activity started on 14th of May and we have put our data date as 18th of May. That means 4 days out of 16. So that's 25% progress. Similarly to this activity, it has assigned 33.33% of progress because 4 days out of 12 days have elapsed. But as I have told you, this is not a proper way to update the project if your project is not going according to the baseline dates. Also, you can see the change in the Gantt chart. It gives the blue color to the part of the activity that has been completed. Let's say we have to make an update on 25th of May and our activity mechanical drawings preparation has started. Its baseline date was 28th of May. It was supposed to start on 28th of May, but let's say it started on 20th of May instead. So in order to manually update this activity, we will select this activity, go to the stats option here and select the start button. I will assign its date. Let's say it started on 19th of May and I select OK. Then I will assign its percentage manually. Let's say it's 10% complete. But after we assign this update to the activities, we again need to go to the schedule option and change our data date. Let's say now our data date is 20th of, or 19th of May. I will select this option and click schedule. In this way, we update the progress of our project. Now, if we have a look at the mechanical drawings preparation activity, it was its baseline date was 28th of May. So it was supposed to start on 28th of May, but its actual start is 19th of May. So in this way, you can track your activities, whether they have started early or on time or late. In order to view your baseline and progress against your baseline in the Gantt chart, we can just go to the Gantt chart option right click and select the bars. Here in the bars, I'll select the baseline bar also. Once I select this primary baseline and click apply, click OK. You can see under each activity, it adds a baseline bar. So let's say the activity civil drawings preparation. It was it's supposed to finish here according to the baseline. But now according to the current progress, it has gone out a little bit from its baseline, which means it will finish a little bit later than its baseline. Similarly, the mechanical drawings preparation activity, its baseline, if you can see, is a small yellow line under it, which means that it has started much earlier than its baseline start date, and it's going to finish a little bit later than its baseline. While as the other activities, which do not have any progress recorded yet, their baseline bars are completely matching with their support planned progress bars. Now you know how to update your project and how to look at the progress of your project and compare it with your baseline. In our next lecture, we will see how to export our project in order to provide it to the client or the consultant.